Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to take this Figma design and convert it into a live website using Figma sites. So if you're new to Figma sites, do check out this part one where I explain you what Figma sites is and the different capabilities and the interface itself. So jumping back to this video, we're going to take this Figma design and convert it into a live website. So if you remember, we use the same design to convert it into a live website using Framer. Uh, but in this video, we are just going to use Figma and see how that can be done seamlessly. So here we have the design. All you got to do is just click on this design, right? click on it and say copy and once you have copied it just open a new file and here you'll find an option called site so once you click on this it opens up a new page and here you have an option to start with the different templates but I'll just close this because we already have the design so you just got to come here right click and say paste and that would paste the design on to the site here I'm just gonna align it to the left and the top let me just zoom in so here you have a problem the design that we have is more than the breakpoint so you can do two things here either increase the breakpoint or you know change or the resize the design that you have so I'm gonna do the second one just going to the scale tool you can come here and use the scale tool or just press on K and I'm just gonna resize this to fit the breakpoint right here so that is good again aligning it to the top so there you go you have the design right on to the site Figma site so let's take a preview of this and see how that's working so if I press this uh, play button right here it's gonna show you a preview of it and it looks great but the scroll is not working completely right so let's head back and increase the height of this desktop container that should fix the issue so heading back to the select tool and I'm gonna increase the height of this desktop container let's see where the footer is there you go okay that looks good I'll hit on the preview button once again and as you can see the scroll is working and the site looks great right so if I try to resize this you can see that it's not working well because we have not yet worked on the responsive design uh, but as a desktop it's pretty much done right I can just go ahead and publish this if this was a desktop site that I wanted to publish I'll just click on publish and I can just give it a name and just publish it and your website is pretty much ready right so that's how seamless it is uh, to create the website in Figma but now let's head back and try to fix all the issues one by one and make sure that we have the mobile and the tablet uh, breakpoint also ready so let's uh, add a tablet breakpoint as well there you go we have the desktop we have the tablet and the mobile and if you want to add a custom breakpoint for a specific device you can do that as well but let's focus on tablet and mobile at the moment so first thing let's you know align it to the left and the top for the mobile as well so there you go so the first thing you want to see is the header right the header is getting cropped here so let's try to fix the header first so I'm gonna click on this header and see what's the issue so the issue is pretty much clear that it is the width that is not matching right so I need to set the width of the header to fill but if I go here I don't see a fill option uh, the reason for that is the parent probably is not an auto layout so we got to make sure that the parent for this is an auto layout so if I see that this is a frame right here so select on that and change this to an auto layout all right I changed it to an auto layout and if I go here I still don't have a fill container that is because the parent of this is again not a auto layout so I click on this desktop option and uh, I change this to an auto layout so I click on this option and now this is an auto layout and I'm gonna make sure that it starts from left top corner all right that looks good so now I'm gonna head to this landing page container and change this to fill so now we have the fill container enabled so let me just zoom out and see this is not yet fixed the issue and then we're gonna head to this nav bar right here everything is selected and change this to fill container there you go it has fixed uh, the issue slightly but uh, we gotta make some tweaks to this as well so on the tablet view I actually don't want this contact button so I'm gonna remove that and make sure the container here is also deleted and in case of a uh, uh, mobile I don't want these menu options at all or probably I'm just gonna leave that uh, options right there and let me just remove some of the options right so I'm just gonna delete all these options remove this column right here and also the button so in this case I just want what I want is just menu and there you go that looks great and also in a mobile I probably don't want so much padding on the left and the right so I'm just gonna change this to 32 and as you can see the padding is only reflecting on the mobile breakpoint 
point and not on the desktop. So if you make these individual changes, it just applies to the individual uh, properties. And now I think uh, the header is working fine. Let's just take a preview and see how that works. So this is the desktop and this is the tablet view and this is the mobile view, right? So that works great. So the header is probably fixed. Now let's head back and work on the hero section right here. So in the hero section, let's again change this to fill container. So I'm going to make sure that everything is selected here. All right. That looks good. Changing this to fill container. So that has slightly fixed the issue in the tablet view. And now let's see what is the problem with the mobile view. So if I click on this header container right here, you can see that the alignment is set to horizontal. We don't have space to show the things horizontal. So we're going to switch this to vertical and that kind of helps us bring this image to the bottom. So we're going to select this image right here and firstly lock the aspect ratio and then set the width of the container to fill and that kind of works. So this one also needs to be set to fill container. There you go. And let's head into the contents inside and see what's the issue. So I guess it's an issue with the uh, hug content. So the height of this is not proper. So we're going to select this and make sure this is set to hug content. And also we can change the font size, right? We don't need such high font size on a mobile device. So we're going to change this to, let's say 36 and that looks great. And this one again, it's just a problem with the width, changing it to fill container and the height to hug content. There you go, that worked. And overall the padding is too much in this. So I'm just gonna select the main container here and change the padding to 32. All right, that also looks great. So I think it's kind of fixed here. So one more thing, we're gonna change the padding for this one. So changing this to 48 in case of a tablet. So this is also gonna be 48 and make sure that this one is set to fill container and this one also looks good. So overall, I think the hero section is also fixed. Uh, let's preview it and see how that looks. So I'm gonna hit on the play button right here and the desktop was already working. I'm gonna resize this and this is how the tablet works and this is the mobile view right so overall you can see that this is working really well and that's the responsive design that we can create with figma and uh, let's scroll down so one thing you want to set is the header to be sticky right you don't want the header to scroll away once you scroll down so that is also pretty simple i think you just gotta select the header right here and in the position you have an option to change this to sticky so i think that should make the header sticky so let me just try it okay there's some issue the header header is sticky but it's appearing below the layers right so let me just head back and i believe the issue to be with the stacking so if i select the main landing container here and go to the auto layout options here you can just change this to first on top where we have the canvas stacking and that should fix the issue all right there you go so the header is working you have the shadow for the header as well that is great and if i put it here i try to resize it the resizing also works well the responsive design so overall in that way you can just go ahead and fix the design for all these elements it's all about setting the auto layout properties and i think that was also something that we did in framer as well uh, to get the site running so once the design is done all you got to do is just head to this publish option probably give it a name i'm just gonna call this portfolio website and just uh, you have two issues to review if i click on this uh, it is probably something to do with uh, an older version of auto layout uh, just click on update and that should fix the issue so unsupported join just fix it and i think that should be okay so there are no more issues and all you got to do is just click on this publish option and uh, as it says it would take a few minutes for us to publish this website so let's wait for the publish to happen and there you go it's already published and as i mentioned you can connect it to a domain as well so if you already have a domain that you brought you can just say connect to a domain give your domain name and that should connect to your domain as well uh, this is the subdomain on a uh, figma site it is published so let's go ahead and click on it and see how that looks so there we go the site is loaded and the header is sticky and overall this looks great right a responsive design so just changing this to responsive mode and there you go the responsive also seems to work really well and there you go guys that is how you can simply turn a figma design into an actual live website uh, but the one problem that you have is the code that it produces is not actually that great so if you're actually worried about the kind of code it provides uh, you can see that there are a lot of divs inside divs inside divs and uh, that is how it is creating the code at the moment uh, but if you're not worried about all that you just want to get your uh, landing page running up and running then this is a great way to go with 
And there are also other options as well. You can add embeds to this. So you have an option to embed, uh, create an embed here, right? So once I add an embed, let's say in between uh, this design right here, I can increase the width of this. So like I showed in the previous video, you can just come here, add an HTML and add an iframe and that adds an embed onto this. And here you can see that uh, this 3D embed from C Spline is also added. And uh, also Figma is planning to add uh, code modules where you can add custom React codes and stuff like that, which will also help you make uh, more advanced things on this rather than the tools and features that we have here. So with all that, uh, this is going to be really powerful as well, uh, pretty uh, close to what we have in Framer. Uh, but let's wait and watch what more comes in and uh, how they improve on this. Uh, so that's all for this video. Uh, stay tuned for more such videos and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one